Can you turn the air inside a balloon into a solid? Let's float a trial balloon with Dr. Mark Vanderlyn to see. Well, I brought some clear balloons and I've already blown one balloon up with air. This is just uh, air from, from my exhaust of my mouth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cool this down. Uh, this should mostly be nitrogen in here, some carbon dioxide, uh, some oxygen. And all of those um, should condense at a temperature near liquid nitrogen. So you can already see right now the balloon is starting to decrease in size. And I'm going to try to shrink this balloon all the way. And what's happening is the gas is condensing. Oh, wow. Into it's a getting... liquid and taking up less volume. So we still continue to cool it down. Oh, we'll try smaller. to get it to condense all the way. And smaller. Oh, look at that. So, right now, the, the gas is um, reaching its liquefaction point and becoming smaller and taking up a less. Uh, less volume. What's also happening in here is the carbon dioxide is actually turning into a solid. So I'm hope hopefully I'll be able to shake it in a second and you'll be able to hear little wow. carbon dioxide dry ice. Oh wow. You can see it a little bit. There's little Yeah there's little crystals in there. And that is the carbon dioxide. Now, if I let it warm up outside of the liquid nitrogen. It already got much bigger. It should get bigger again. And now we see that it's returned back to its bouncy state. Solid job, Mark.